using primers. And what this does is it creates millions, um, hundreds of millions of copies of a specific gene. And what you can tell from this is when you're making million copies of a singular star allele, what you're able to understand is whether the person's genotype is normal or if it has some deficiency or if it's rapidly, you know, if it's rapid, if it over metabolizes a certain drug. About the future, for example, changing the genes themselves so that people don't have that specific defect. And some of the pros, I mean, this is what will happen in the future. Obviously, human trials are going on right now, and this is a you know, relatively new technology. And what it has been projected to do is, for example, engineering T cells, which is a specific type of cell for your immune system outside of the body to be able to treat cancer better. But another thing in the future is just helping to cure diseases. Oftentimes you have people who have specific diseases that can't be cured by normal medications, and therefore it's helpful if you're able to you know, bring in a specific gene section and edit it in. Even researchers, because you're able to look at people's genetics, you're able to advise them on what to do, you're able to you know, prescribe less different types of medications, and prescribe medications that you know may will work for your patient. Also, you have you know, a more depth overview of the health by the physician. And something that 